Thank you so, so much for coming to my channel. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Make sure you come back. I do product reviews, unboxings, reactions, uh, story time, ASMR, food, food reviews, um, random stuff. I even have a 3D pen that I do. I'm going to be doing some do-it-yourself stuff over here and some oddly satisfying stuff over here. Um, more things to come, miniature cooking, all of that. But today I'm going to be unboxing uh, a heat gun. It's a Ferno, Wagner Ferno 300. It's a heat gun, okay? And I buy a lot of things all the time. Um, a lot of things have multiple purposes. Like I have a quick cut vinyl cutter. You know, you can use that for so many things. I have a t-shirt, uh, the heat press and all that stuff. But everything has different uses. I originally began to want to buy this heat gun because I have the 3D pen. And so uh, with the 3D pen and the, uh, the heat gun, you use the heat gun to uh, smooth out your creations and clean them up and that kind of thing. But I ended up with some other ideas um, that hopefully we'll get into. Hopefully we will get into uh, sooner or later. I'm gonna do a lot. I'm hoping to be able to do some creative things with this heat gun. Now, there's many uses for this heat gun. I've seen people use them when they're laying carpet. You can buy uh, nozzles or pieces to put here. I've seen people use them uh, when they're doing the carpet, the art, arts and crafts. Um, some people do some touching up to their foods. Uh, even uh, you can do numerous things with the with the heat gun. Uh, sealing uh, your shrink bags. Uh, wrapping, like shrink wrapping your uh, products uh, for, for sale, like your soaps, your candles. You want to shrink wrap them. This is good to have on hand. Um, just so many different uses. Um, I've seen a lot of people use them, to, like I said, do the shrink wrapping to wrap their purchases. I'm not their purchases, the products that they're going to sell, like their soaps and stuff. And you see this, you see this. And you can do so many things with it. Um, I see a lot of people doing a lot of art with it, acrylic pour. I'm going to try that out. I used to love my art and my arts and crafts, but yeah. So this is it. We're going to melt chocolate today and maybe a crayon just to kind of get a use of it, but yeah. So, yeah, you need, uh, you can get these different connectors that you see here. Well, nozzles, which I'm going to get a nozzle kit. Eventually, I mean, you know, um, hopefully the ideas that I have, hopefully they're going to, like, work out. But for now, we're just going to use it for a little fun. Let's get it plugged up. Um, let's see, let's get it plugged up. Let y'all see that box. Let's get this plugged up. Let's get it started. Let us see. I hope everybody is doing well. Uh-oh, I'm gonna turn it off first. Uh, it has two temperature settings. Two temperature settings. I'm trying to tell you more. Well. Oh, you know, you can actually, I don't know if y'all ever see, like, uh, I don't know if you guys ever see, um, your, uh, like, you know how they, uh, I guess I would call it wood burning. Like, you can take, uh, stencils, not a plastic stencil, of course, uh, heat safe stencils, and you can actually, uh, burn, uh, images onto the wood. I guess, like, I guess that's wood burning. So, it's really good for arts and crafts. Um, I'm gonna adjust this so that you guys will be able to, uh, see me, uh, melt this. I actually have an unboxing I gotta do on a overhead type, uh, ring light tripod thing. So, okay, let's see. Uh-oh, it's running down too much. Let's see if it's gonna stay. Okay, where's my chocolate? Okay, I don't waste food, you guys. You all know that. Um, I only use food that, for whatever reason, was left out or got discarded or was gonna go to waste. Do not waste food. It's so freaking uncool. I hate to see videos where people buy these brand new Whoppers and they just stump on it. You know, just all the stuff. But I don't do that. This was food that was already going to be discarded. This is old Valentine's Day candy um, that uh, my granddaughter actually had and that she um, she didn't have the top on her box. Uh, she put it in the closet and these were just on the floor. Sadly, because if they hadn't been on the floor, I ain't going to lie, y'all. If they had just been in the box uncovered, maybe I would have melted them, ate them. I put them in some milk or something, huh? But let's get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Oh, it's not ready. Goodness. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. These are looking good. The hotter they get, they look so tasty. They look so tasty. Is it even recording? Okay. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Look at it. 
maybe I should have cut this hair like this here so y'all can see it. Maybe you guys can see it. Let's move this over here. The ring light. Oh, y'all can only see the ring light, really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that. And see, you can do so many uh, projects with this. With the wood burning, I saw where not only could you burn the, burn the uh, wood safely and put it on your little spatulas in the kitchen, your wood spatulas and stuff, they actually have a safe where you can eat uh, type coating that you could buy to put on it. Look at that. I'm using parchment paper here on top of a poster. It's actually a poster that I actually wanted to keep because, believe it or not, my granddaughter, she does about 30 posters a day. Pretty expensive habit she has. She's three years old. She loves to color and draw and paint, like my oldest daughter used to. But she just uses so many of these poster boards, and they're not that cheap. They're not as cheap as you think. Look at that. It smells so good, you guys. I want to eat this. Any bacteria or whatever should be dead. Maybe I can just lick this up, pour it in some milk. I'm just joking, you guys. I do hate to see stuff go to waste, though. This looks like chocolate too, like my granddaughter says. This looks like chocolate too. I always tell her there's no such thing as chocolate poop. She got that from something off of YouTube. Y'all see that? Mmm. Looks like poop. Okay, so there we have it. There we have it. Pretty cool, huh? And you see, you see the burn mark? That's how it's able to, uh, that's how it's able to burn, um, That's how it's able to burn uh, the wood. The strangest thing, I don't know what's going on. My little heat gun, it may, it may have to go back and be traded in because I'm not sure if I should have been having any smoke coming from the gun. I don't think that should be happening. I don't think so. I know I'm really hot. I'm gonna plug it back up. I wanna, I'm afraid a little bit. Yeah, I haven't got it. I just got it out of the box, so it shouldn't have been doing anything. I don't know if it can overheat, but it shouldn't have been overheating. Ah. It's brand new. That's odd. Oh man. Oh man, you guys. That sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's smoking still. I ain't got time. That's the little stuff that'll get on your nerves when you have to return stuff because I don't go out a lot and I don't like to go out a lot even before the pandemic. Oh man. Oh man, and I got it from Lowe's. I got it from Lowe's. Well, it's not doing the smoking anymore. I don't know. I don't know what could have happened. I think it's a high heat that. Well, it's not doing it anymore. Maybe it's just because it's new, and it just had to, you know. Who knows? Thank you for coming. Oh, we were supposed to do the crayons, you guys. The crayon. Where is the crayon? I hope I can easily find it. And we're going to use a broken crayon for this. We can't just use good old crayons. Oh, we're going to use a broken crayon. Oh, we can't use the broken crayon. Oh, crap. Oh, crap.
It's a crayon and two mic and ice that were just laying on the floor. Remember, don't waste food. Look at that. And see, that's what they, they do when they're making the art with the acrylic paint and stuff. That's what they're doing. So if you had more than one color, that would be really beautiful. Y'all see that? I hope I don't... We can make sure I don't start a fire either. Make sure you don't start a fire. You have to be safe with this. You need the little uh, protective gloves as well. There you go. Well, we're all done here. I thank you guys for coming and watching. Come back when I start making my art and doing some other things with the heat gun. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on some other things. Just come on back. Say that if you don't have like the heat press to do your 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 your, your t-shirt printing or printing stuff on like your mugs and stuff like that, the heat transfer thingy, you can just use this heat gun. And it tells you guys that to uh, defrost your freezer, get some of that old built up ice away. Just use that the heat gun.